This is Telejournal News with News Director Gordon Manuel and Correspondents Barbara Reinertsen, Joe Amato, Andrea Shea, Rob Maloney, and Sports with Steve Martin. Good evening. Defense Secretary Caspar Weinberger is in Maine this 4th of July weekend. He and his wife Jane, a Maine native, expect to remain at their vacation home on Mount Desert Island through Saturday. Andrea Shea was there, and she files this report. Guest Speaker Governor Joseph Brennan stressed the statewide law enforcement's problem with drunk drivers. We completely rewrote Maine's drunk, dr drunk driving law. I'm Andrea Shea, Channel 5 Telejournal News in Waterville. There was some good news for Bangor City officials today. Joe Amato has more on that story. It's been near in the works for nearly 17 years, a plan to stop the flow of raw sewage from Bangor into the Penobscot River. The man defying the Maine Milk Commission says he has still to hear from the state. Andrea has that story. Andrea? Well, Bruce Chandler, owner of the Goldsboro Grocery Store that's selling milk below minimum prices established by the state, says he has not received any communication from the state regarding his actions. Now with sports, here's Rich Kimball. Rich? Thank you, Gordon. At the top of sports night, it'll be number one versus number two in the men's championship at the Wimbledon Tennis Tournament. Thank you, Rich. Interest rates went up today, and as a result, the stock market went down. We'll have that report for you right after this. Some Bangor motorists were probably hot under the collar this morning, and it probably wasn't today's 80-degree temperatures either. Rob Maloney has that story, right? Motorists in the downtown Bangor area today had to fight snarled traffic for quite a while. Well, here's hoping the National Weather Service forecast is going to be good and accurate. Joe, what did they say tonight? Well, they're saying, on the one hand, they're saying there's a good chance of showers. You'll have to run in every once in a while. But on the other hand, the Department of Environmental Protection says that the ozone forecast for Sunday is unhelpful. So in that way, it looks good, maybe sunny. Rushing the weekend, I guess. Well, it, it's far enough ahead where you can look ahead, <laughs> forward. <laughs> OK, I'll be right back after this. That's the latest news this Thursday night for the Telejournal News Team and Production Crew. I'm Gordon Manuel. Good evening. Thank you.